We're on the other side of the furnace room now, and these are the ducts we saw. A little bit more condensed over there, but these are the ducts that are they're coming out to feed the rest of the house, Mike? That's right. Kind of, kind of go down the line here and tell us what each one is. <coughs> well, what we have on the end here, which is the bare sheet metal, is the return air plenum. Okay. We have run a square duct down the length of the house, and all the returns tie back into that plenum. So this is the air that that has that's been to the room and it's coming back. It's going to go to the return air. That's right. Plant them through the air cleaner, and get conditioned again, and then reintroduce back into the house. Okay. And it's just a continual process. All right. Uh, the next ducts you see with the duct wrap on them are supply ducts. These are supplying the cold air right now, or the warm air in the winter time. Uh, and each one of these trunk lines serves a different zone. So there's a zone damper on each one of these. Okay. And each one of these are serving a different area of the house, whether it be the sunroom, the master suite, or the main floor of the house. And this, this room right here is on a zone. <coughs> or Correct. The, the whole basement is on a zone, mm -hmm. and it's controlled by this it's thermostat. It's controlled by this one here. This is a smart sensor, and this gives you the ability to change the temperature in this zone from this thermostat without having to go all the way up to the user inter interface upstairs. That's great. It's so convenient to have, especially when you have two floors like, like this house does. Right. So if you have guests staying down here, they can control the temperature independently of what you have going on upstairs. So like if you're filming a TV show in here and wanted to be really cool, That's you right. could sneak you in here, over and, here and run down. Well, you know, we're, okay. we're cool no matter what, but um, <laughs> we can't adjust that if we want to. So, well, that's great. So that's a nice feature of this zoning system it'll allow you to be able to change it independently for, without having to go to one main controller. To that's, that. I mean, that's a real convenience item. Oh, yeah. very much so. Yeah. All right, when we first uh, started talking today in our first segment, we were talking about m actually part of your process and figuring out and engineering this system was measuring the airflow. Right. And you have an instrument right here. And, and kind of show us how that works, Mike. Well, this is a um, it's an airflow measuring station, basically. It's a flow hood is what we call it. It's like a hood. megaphone okay. to me. But, but it, <laughs> um, it has pitot tubes inside of it, and we can hold it up to supply or return. You know, we can hold it up to this return that's in this wall. Okay. And you can see here it's measuring the, the CFM that's sucking through this duct right now. So is that like 265 that's CFM? 265 CFM through that return and, right now. And that air is going this way Correct. and getting returned back to the air handler. And dehumidified, which is very important in a basement because you can, you can cool basements all day long, but it's hard to keep the humidity level down. So with the variable speed and the humidity sensing equipment we have, we can actually come in and dehumidify without a call for cooling. So if you're getting a new system and, and, somebody, and you're going out to somebody's house and measuring and doing the engineering, if somebody shows up without one of these devices, probably not really fine-tuned. Well, they're probably taking a guess at it. Yeah. Um, but we, you know, at Gaines Mechanical, we're offering on this system here is a lifetime parts and labor warranty. I'm not going to leave anything to chance. Right. It's going to be right so we know it's going to work and we're not going to have issues with it. So. We prefer, we prefer to do it this way, and that way we don't make any mistakes. So you do it right the first time? It's the only way to do it. That's you. right. You convinced me. Let's go upstairs, and we're going to look at the uh, master control unit. <laughs> yes, what is it, Mike? User interface. User interface. All right, Mike, we're in the master bedroom now, command central. And this is the user interface. That's right. Got yeah. it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, tell us about the user interface. Um, it's a fancy word for the main thermostat. Um, That's all you had to say was main thermostat. That's it. But it is the user interface. This is a Windows-based setup. If you notice, wow. it kind of looks like a PDA. Yeah. Um, but this controller is constantly in communication, not only with the furnace and the zoning controller, but also the outdoor condenser. It knows what temperature it is outside, what the humidity is inside, what zones are calling, and this and that. And it determines a certain speed to run the outdoor unit or the blower to achieve not only the best comfort, but to do it most efficiently it can. So this right here senses temperature as well as humidity. And right now when we're standing here sweating next to this thermostat, yeah. the humidity is rising. So I, I'm not sweating. I don't know <laughs> what you're talking about. It's, it's cool in here. It's starting to slow down the fan speed to dehumidify. Okay. Um, but from this zone controller, Right now, you can switch. See this? The living room there. Okay. And you can so go you to okay. the sunroom to the downstairs and you can monitor any of those and change the temperatures here or since we put in smart sensors you can also do the changing down at the zone that's itself. Great. That's great. Now there's definitely some interesting um, buttons on here. My favorite would be 
vacation. Um, I mean, can yeah. I just press it and yeah. go press on vacation? vacation. Just gonna say. Oh. There you go. Okay. <laughs> vacation set up. All right. It's pre-programmed for vacation time, and all right now it's asking you set for one day or two I would days. Like, no, I'd like days. to go for a week. All right, we're gonna go seven days. Okay, thank you. And then you hit vacation again, all right. and it's gonna say start vacation. Yes. And we hit yes. There it goes. Vacation is now initiated. Wow. Does it pay for your trip too? <laughs> well, in the long run, it may. Yeah. <laughs> Very well Great said. Great one, Mike. <laughs> Very well said. So okay, if we want to is... cancel vacation, we're going to hit it and cancel vacation. Okay. So let's say you're on this vacation. Can you log in on, a, on your computer and your laptop and check things out? Yeah, on this system, it's, it's capable. Uh, we, have, we have a remote access kit that you buy with this that attaches to the equipment that allows you either hardwired or Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. to, uh, you can pull it up on the computer. You can call it up on the cell phone. If you have a trouble with it, it'll shoot you an email. It'll shoot me an email at Gainesville Mechanical and say, we need service. Um, we put a lot of these in second homes up in Highlands, cashiers mm -hmm. up there, people that live in Florida. They can keep tabs on their equipment if they have a problem. You know, we know about it before they know about it, and we can get it taken care of that way. Well, Mike, we really appreciate you being on the show today, and uh, thanks for Gainesville Mechanical. And if anybody wants to get in touch with Mike, it's GainesvilleMechanical.com. Just pull him up on the uh, Internet, and he'll be great, glad to take care of you. And, you know, we, we've been from the condenser to the evaporator. We learned how to, to, to kind of engineer the system. We learned about duct work, mm -hmm. about this fancy thermostat. Mm -hmm. Vacations. And, yeah, and vacations. It's just been a great show. Very informative, and thank you. Yeah, thank you. And remember, it's more than a house. It's your home. We'll see you next time.